the dreaded stink bug. They are a nuisance. Now they'll lay in these trees all summer long, eating leaves, fruit, whatever they can. They're a farmer's worst nightmare. And I don't like them myself. But you didn't know when, uh, when summer's over. They start sensing that cold weather. They start ganging up around the house, trying to get in anywhere they can. If they can get in a place less than a quarter of an inch, crack. And they are a nuisance. So we're gonna see a few things we can do outside and then some things we can do inside. Now here on the right is the common stink bug. They're just part of the natural environment. You, you've seen them, they don't bother nothing. They're just an insect of the natural environment around here. But down here on the left is the Asian invasion. They're from Asia. Somehow they got over here in a boat, boxes, airplanes, who knows. But anyway, they're here and they've migrated all over the Eastern Middle United States. And uh, they are a nuisance, They're a nuisance to the farmer the uh, trees, the environment, and especially in your house when it gets cold weather. Now we can put people on the moon and we can walk in space, but we can't handle a stink bug. Does that make sense to you? So here around the house, you've got to get all your cracks filled in best you can. You can't get it perfect and put some screen behind these vents because they'll say, oh goody, there's me a place for the winter time. They'll crawl right in it. And around your doors, get the cracks kind of filled up with that felt you can put around them and and slow them down. You, you can't get it all. They get around to ease your house and everywhere. Now you can spray all around these cracks and all these entry places, but if you wait till after they're in the house or in these places, it's too late. This just prevents them from going in that certain crack. That's about basically all it does. I've never had much faith in that for killing stink bugs. But you have to try it. Now, you can kill them with soap and water, just any dish dishwashing liquid. It's one part dishwasher soap or dishwasher liquid, whatever, and two parts water in a spray bottle. And you could spray them. It does kill them. It sticks to their wings and they can't fly and they'll die. It's like right here. It'll knock them off the wall and they'll crawl off. But it, it'll kill them eventually. It don't kill them instantly. It'll take them a few minutes. But it does kill them. But you want to stand there and spray them all day? Right there's the best way to kill them, direct pressure. But you can't do that in the house. They stink way too bad. Now we'll see what we can do on the in-house here in some traps. Here's a small little dry trap to catch them, set them off in a room. And then here in the middle is a bigger trap with more light. And here what we'll be making today is on the right. It's a water trap. We'll drown them babies when they get in that trap. And it's a little more decorative. Now here's the tools you'll need to make these traps. Just goo gone to get the glue off the old paper off the bottles you're using. A compass to make your circle with. A razor blade to start your cutting with. And mark it with a marker and scissors to cut it with. And here's the parts to make this dry, or I'm sorry, the wet one we're making, the water trap. It's just decorative, and it won't spill over so bad and turn over with water in it. And you can reuse it over and over and over again. Okay, we start out here. You've seen what the end, here's the, here's the end result. This is what you want it to look like. Now, here's what we make out of this old two liter Coca-Cola, Pepsi, it don't matter. Me high, it don't matter, Mountain Dew, whatever. But I, it'd be best you have it clear. The brighter the light is, the better it's draw. These bugs, 
like to go to the light like any other bug. It keeps them warm in that. So, you ever sit around the house, you know what I'm talking about. They'll come right to you if you're sitting there next to a lamp. But, you could just do this right here. Here's the lights we use. I showed you they don't, they're not inexpensive. They're just LED. They take three uh, AAA lights. You could just set this in the bottom here. Right like that and put that on. And there's your simple setup. They'll come right to that light and it go right down in. And you just turn your light off in the morning, empty them out, throw them away. But I'm going to show you a little bit more decorative and more to really get rid of them. So, let's get at it. Alright, first thing you want to do, take your bottle, old pot bottle, you cleaned it out, washed it out. Be careful if you use a razor blade. These things will cut you. I've cut myself many a time off. And what you got to do, you got to get this off here. And the best thing to get is just old glue where they glue these off of. You could leave it on there if you want to, but if you want it, the clearer you can get it, the more light it'll put off. So, here's the best thing to use for that. Just some old glue gun. So, we'll get that off. Just rub it on there, let it set a few minutes. Scratch it off with your fingernail. You got these balls cleaned up now. You know, you're going to scratch it getting this, uh, getting that old glue off. It seems like I hate getting the glue off worse than I do anything about it. You just scratch, scratch, scratch. But that, that glue gun does pretty good at it. But anyway, when you get your glue off, one thing about these Coke bottles, they got lines across them. So what I like to do, be careful with these razor blades. Right there on that top line. Cut into it a little bit. Until you can get your scissors in there. Hold. And when you get, get get in there, just follow that line across. Little cut. Well, it ain't perfect, you know. You try to you try to dress it up a little bit, trying to match your line. Okay. But basically, there you go. That's basically it, see? That's basically it. Okay. But, you want to make it decorative. You, you don't cut your, part, your top, your base. And you got that right there. So they go, they'll go down this funnel on that light, and they'll get down in here, and they can't get back out. So, then what you want to do to make it decorative, decorative, right here is a little old plastic plant pot. It's about five and a half, six inches high, six inch tall. And then you could use, you could, and what you don't want to do, so you set this like this, and I'm going to put water in mine. So when they get down in here, there ain't no chance of them coming out. They're going to fall in that water, and they're going to drown. And then I'll just pour it out and start the process over again. But anyway, to make it more decorative, I mean, you could just use this. This is a coffee pot or a can of coffee, but we want the lid off of it, and when you get it, it'll fit this just right, see, right there, and what we want to do is we take our one that we just cut, and you want to set that right, this, this funnel that you just cut right on that, and what I like to do is find the center line about the diameter of what you want right here get you where you can see it. And then you just take an old cheap school compass or something and make this circle around and you take a razor blade and cut around it real slow. So when you get that cut, it don't matter if it's clear or black. I like a darker color so the only light will be showing will be out of the trap. So we've got this cut now. So what we're going to do Slide this 
upward. And you've got your light in your paw. Now, you could just make a little old bitty one. This is just a little old container that you get around the house or something, you know, Tupperware. You put your light in the bottom of it, make your little thing like that if you just want to catch them up. And that would set good somewhere. But I'm trying to make one a little bit more. More decorative. And what I'm doing now, you've got your light in the bottom of this planter. This. Now you, you need a light that don't get hot. If you get a light that gets real hot, it's going to melt the plastic and maybe cause, the, uh, cause a fire in the middle of the night or something. You don't want that. These little LEDs, they don't get hot at all. And they, they last forever on batteries. So you basically got this done. And what you do, you just put you about an inch of water in the bottom of this thing. And when you do that, you set this top on here that you just cut good and snug. And you can see your light. You can see, you know, they see the light real good. They, they can't get around here because this is dark. But there you go. Then when you get this full, you just take your top off and you turn, dump them out, clean it out a little bit, put some more water back in it, set the trap back in there. And at night, they like to come to the light. So put this in an area that'll draw them away from you to this is the only light they see in the house. So they'll come to this light. And they go down in there, they can't come out. And they hopefully they'll drown. And you just get rid of them. So there ain't nothing worse than a stink bug. You trying to sleep at night, flying around, coming towards a lamp, or you watching TV. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But there you go. It's a simple little setup. This is more decorative. You don't have to do it like this. You can use your own imagination. Just do it like that. Be real, you know, just a little bitty one. Just use your imagination. And as far as the lights go, you can use one of these lights. Just anything that's kind of LED that don't take no power. So don't, they don't generate no heat. Because this plastic, if it gets hot and catch on fire, you could create a fire. So remember that. You don't want, you want a lot, good bright light source, but you don't want no heat. If you do, you catch a fire. These here will burn for days and days and never get hot. So, in the morning, you just take this out and dump it, turn your light off, clean it out. So, next night, next evening, you get ready to go to bed, you just set it up, turn it on, set it in a place off to itself where that's the only light source, and they'll come to that light. They, they'll just come right to it. So, I hope this helps you. So you, you don't have to use the pot. You can use any use your own imagination. You can even see you made this. You can even set this in here. Snap it on there. Your lights down there. You can paint this or decorate it, whatever you want. But it's just a little old trap. We just want to get rid of them stink bugs. So there you go.